uh, there's also another type of hooks which are detours style hooks which are simply hooks uh, EPT hooks that are not working with uh, a breakpoint or a hidden breakpoint and uh, these hooks are simple detours uh, hooks the thing is that uh, these uh, hooks just replace uh, the uh, start of a function or the routing that you want with some uh, target functions or a trampoline to just move the execution flow to another function or to a, a hyperdivision function and after that it will uh, try to execute those uh, instructions that are patched and that are not available in the target function and it will uh, eventually return to the normal execution flow uh, it's faster than uh, hyperdivision's uh, EPT hook uh, we, we use EPT hook 2 command for this detours hook, uh, but it's definitely faster than EPT hooks, but it has some limitations. For example, uh, the, the thing about uh, this uh, instruction uh, the, about this command is that uh, it, it operates on uh, kernel mode rather than VMX root mode. Uh, most of the a script engine functions are designed to run on VMX known root mode, VMX root mode, but this function runs on VMX non root mode, so it won't cause a VM exit. Some of the functionalities of the a script engine won't work for this command. And the thing that makes it faster than EPT hook is that it won't cause a VM exit. So everything is handled in the kernel level and there's no VM exit, but it generally preferred uh, to use the EPT hook. I mean, it's better to, in most of the scenarios, it's better to use the EPT hook. But in some cases, uh, when you want to check uh, a function faster, you can use EPT hook to Another thing is that uh, it can only be used in the kernel addresses. The EPT hook itself can be applied in on both user mode addresses and uh, kernel mode addresses. But this function EPT hook two is only limited uh, to the kernel mode addresses, which means that you cannot use it for the user mode addresses. And also, uh, you can only use one hook in a page of memory. For example, if you put a hook on this address. You cannot put another hook on uh, the boundary of that page. For example, you cannot put a hook uh, starting from this address to this address uh, because uh, these uh, addresses are located on the same page. Another thing is uh, about the limitation of the tourist style hook is that it patches 19 bytes uh, from uh, from the memory, so. Uh, you have to make sure that there is no relative jump or relative card. It has the classic problem of uh, detours hook. You have to make sure that there is no relative uh, instruction within the boundary that you want to put a hook on it. And the good thing is that most of the time in uh, x64 fast call calling convention functions, and most of the time, the first 19 bytes of the functions are not uh, starting with a, rel a relative jump or a relative call. This command operates in VMX non root mode, uh, which means that because HyperDVG's script engine, as I described it uh, before, is mainly designed to work on VMX root mode. So you have limitations on the script engine, which is uh, truly described here. Let me show it to you. For example, you cannot access RIP or RSP or R flags instructions because they use VM read and VM write instructions in the uh, script engine of the HyperDVG. So there are some limitations and considerations for using the script engine in EPT hook 2, but it's completely okay uh, to use everything in uh, EPT hook, the regular EPT hook, and it's also preferred to use EPT hook over EPT hook 2.